Oh, hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just getting my heart pump, 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 pumping and going over today's science file. And today's science file says... How does the heart pump blood, and what makes the heart beat? Well, that's a super awesome question. I'm thinking, try this. I'm gonna show you how to make a heart model that actually pumps like your heart! Okay, get yourself a small jar and fill it with water. Oh, uh, this is a, this is a jalapeno jar. Okay, get yourself a balloon and a pair of scissors. And you're gonna cut the nozzle end of the balloon off. Now you're gonna stretch this piece over the top of your jar. It's like spandex. Okay, now you're gonna get yourself a toothpick and you're gonna poke two holes in the top of the balloon. Like this. Now get yourself two straws that are bendable. Using a rubber band, you're gonna take the nozzle of your balloon and you're gonna attach it to the top of one of your straws. And you're gonna poke them into the hole. And there's your heart model. See, even I have a heart, despite what my ex-girlfriends say. <laughs> okay, you know what? It's probably a good idea that you get yourself a container. Haha! <laughs> you know, for the obvious reasons. You're gonna take your heart model? It broke! And you're gonna push on the top. <laughs> yes! Haha! <laughs> no, 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 don't like it! Cool! It pumps! It's just like your heart! So, what does this pump have to do with how your heart works? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look. This. Your heart is a special hollow muscular pump that pushes blood around your body and is about the size of your fist. Blood returning from your body collects in your right atrium. When the atriums contract, this blood flows into your right ventricle. When the ventricles contract, it pumps this blood into the pulmonary artery. This artery carries the blood to the lungs where CO2 is removed and oxygen is added. This oxygen-rich blood collects in the heart's left atrium. When the atriums contract again, the blood flows down into the left ventricle. When your ventricles contract again, this blood is pumped out of the heart into the aorta, which is the body's largest artery. Smaller arteries that branch off the aorta send the blood to different parts of your body. Unlike other muscles in your body, which first need a nerve impulse to contract, your heart can contract all on its own. A heartbeat begins with a small group of specialized muscle cells called the sinoatrial node in the right atrium. These cells are like a spark plug and generate an electrical signal which causes the atriums to contract. This electrical signal also sets off the artioventricular node. This signal is sent out much slower, which allows time for the blood to empty into the ventricles before the ventricles contract by this electrical signal. So now you know more about your heart and how the heart works. You know, making your own heart model that actually pumps is why science is so cool.